Where are we doing? Filming ourselves awkwardly walking. Where are we going? To the beach. Why? To film your YouTube video. <laughs> what are you going to be doing? Trying to film you. <laughs> are you going to be the camera person? I'm going to hold the camera, so. Wow. See how You're so goes. such a YouTuber. Just built to be an influencer. Hey everybody, there's something really fun that Amory and I have done the past couple of years, and that is shooting film photography. Today I'm uh, trying to teach Amory how to use uh, this camera. It's going to be great. Amory, uh, I'm married to her. She's great. How many times are you going to say, uh? <laughs> So right now we are in Florida and we're going on a little vacation. And one thing that we really love to bring are things like this. This is my film camera that I've been shooting on with for the past year or so. And then she, Emery, here, let me get this from her, let me get it. And then she has this little point and shoot camera that she brings with her. And at one point we shot with disposable cameras. Now, we're not doing this because we think it's cool and trendy, which it does look nice. You know, film photos look really good, but Probably the main reason why we do it is so we don't have to use this thing, our phone. We can come and go to these vacations and we can enjoy it and be in the moment. And that's like one reason why I really recommend for you, if you haven't shot film before, to shoot it. Um, go on eBay, look up a film camera. The first camera I ever had was called a Nikon FA, and it was like $150. I got like a $10 thing a roll, uh, a roll of film, and I put it in there and I shot my first roll of film, and it was amazing. Another reason why I like to use film creatively um, is because it kind of, in a funny way, I feel like whenever I have my film camera out that I'm like in a form of meditation. It's like me and the film camera and I'm not focused on anything else but just enjoying my time outside, shooting street photography, uh, shooting photos of Anne Marie, shooting photos of the dogs. Um, it's a time for me to just like relax and to not be so focused on perfectionism, which is one thing is that I focus so much on perfectionism and this camera gives me imperfect images because I'm not good at exposing the images. I'm not perfect at, at, doing, at hitting my focus and there's blurry images, but from that, I get some of the most amazing photos that I've ever taken. And it is when I really feel like as a uh, video creator that I'm creating art is often with this little camera right here. Um, oh my gosh, my <laughs> arms. <laughs> uh, if you say um again, I'm gonna throw the camera. You're great, now let's do a walk and talk. Yay, I didn't ruin it. Black and white. So we're reloading this, uh, my Leica M6, my favorite camera of all time, my dream camera that I wanted for forever. We're using some Portra 400, a very classic uh, film stock that you can use. As long as it's in focus, then you're good. Oh yeah, baby. I gotta get a photo of you in this. Amory, look at me. <laughs> Amory is a pro. She is a pro at the camera. I think that you could be like the greatest YouTuber of all time. Nope. Oh, oh that's so satisfying. Sorry. Why do you like shooting on film? The number one reason is nostalgia. Being like a kid again, not having a phone, having a camera, pointing, shooting, clicking. The second reason is not having instant gratification like you already talked about. I think it's important to have something that you actually have to wait on because we don't have to wait on much nowadays. And then 
I think the third element is surprise. Like you get the images back and you don't remember when you took them or you don't remember getting that shot. So I think those are the three most important reasons. I feel like that. Yeah, I don't need to give any points because those are the best points in the video. You can overlay it with all your uh, 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 uh. <laughs> So you should go out and buy a camera that is most suited for you. If you're experienced and creative like Richard, that is a, a Leica or a Nikon that is You don't cool. have to buy that. Just, those are brands, but cooler cameras. If you're like me, that just wants something that is gonna take a photo, then a disposable, if you can find one, or the little point and shoot that you bought me. I think, just go have fun. Don't be on your phone. So I think that's why we shoot on film, and I think Emery said it best more than more than I did, that it's fun to go and shoot on film, and it's, it's just a good time. So I recommend go on eBay, go find a camera on there, go into your your like camera store. There's usually always something that someone has, and what we do is I just order film on B&H, and then I get that film and then I send it off to a place called The Dark Room to develop all my film and I get scans and I use it like I'm using now on the screen for photos and pictures and we have those for forever and we get also uh, the roll of film back with the uh, developed negatives. But thanks for watching this video. Really appreciate that you're watching and Amory doesn't like it, but you should subscribe. I think that'd be great. <laughs> if you feel compelled, subscribe, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, peace.